The single leg hop and stop might seem like an easy task, however for athletes with little or no jumping experience, or for heavier athletes, it is an important drill to master and can be quite challenging. Inward or outward travel of the knee, known as valgus or varius respectively, can increase the shearing forces on the ligaments of the knee. This puts athletes at greater risk of MCL, ACL or PCL injury. Therefore, knee control and dynamic tasks, such as jumping or cutting off one leg, is a very important factor in decreasing non-contact injury risk. This drill can help with this. To perform the task, all the athlete needs to do is go onto one leg and perform single leg hops. Three or four in a row on each leg is normally sufficient. All you're looking to do is to jump as far as you can and stop, but with two caveats. You must be able to come to a complete stop fairly quickly and be able to do this whilst controlling your knee, dis displaying little if no lateral movement. You can make this drill harder by increasing the jump distance. This drill is probably one of the first places an athlete should come to when in their plyometrics career, especially before performing any kind of single leg bounding or single leg jumping to any kind of intensity, as it encourages correct mechanics and reinforces the importance of knee control. That concludes this tutorial. Questions or comments, leave them below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.